Hello, One Church family. I have been praying for you all week. Hope you are having a very blessed week. We had a wonderful marriage night. Women's night was wonderful in the courtyard. And and uh, last Sunday, we had such a spiritually fulfilling time together. Just a really a great time of edification, of revelation. God did a lot in his house on Sunday. It's really amazing how valuable that time is to come and spend that 90 minutes or so out of our entire week just dedicated to worshiping God, to hearing the word, to getting filled up. I mean, it's such a special, valuable time. And uh, I've been asking you to really press into these Sundays. This Sunday, um, I'm talking about uh, no more people pleasing. Who's a people pleaser? Raise your hand or don't. Amen. What do I do? But we're going to I've got a very special message. In fact, been been working really hard this week, studying, going through the word, going through the scripture, letting the Holy Spirit speak to me, just like I did about this past Sunday about, about fear not, don't fear. And I hope you've been applying that to your life. I know it's hard uh, sometimes, but to stop and remember, no, I need to not fear because I need to trust God. He's got it all under control. He's taking care of everything. And so this Sunday, we're going to press into God's word. We're going to look at a wonderful story in the book of Acts that you're going to love about Peter and the apostles when they are put in jail for preaching about Jesus. It is it is really one of my favorite stories. I think I say that about everything in the Bible, but oh, the word, it just really inspired me this week. I really needed it myself. And uh, and then coming up the next weekend, we're going to launch early, just a Sunday early into May is for the mind. You know, God really wants you to have the mind of Christ. So we're going to spend May getting special books from Tony Evans. You'll have a chance to uh, sign up for those on Sunday. Again, they're just $5 each. And if you can't afford them, one will be provided for you. On the 28th, we're going to have Jesus Revolution movie, tacos and movie. Great chance to for evangelism, to invite your family, invite your friends to come on out and watch this great movie. And, and uh, we'll have a really really neat turnaround, talk about it at the end of the movie, just, just a few minutes of time to love on each other and and uh, and give people a chance to believe in Jesus if maybe they don't. But there's so much happening. Don't let it go to waste. I know that April and May are busy times and school is ending and summer is ramping up, but the work of God must continue. The devil never takes a vacation. The ne devil never stops. He never takes a Sunday off. He never takes a day off. And so we as Christians, it's our time to really step up. The world needs us. This is our hour. People are hurting. People need love. They need encouragement. They need the power of the Holy Spirit. Most of all, they need the love and the joy of Jesus. And it's for us now to really press in and let's bring it. And like they say, when you bring your best game, they say, let's bring it. And let's bring our best. I want to read you a scripture looking out of the fire Bible. If you don't have a fire Bible, it's a, a really great Bible to get. I'm going to read 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 15, verse 58. It says, Therefore, my beloved brothers and sisters, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. You know, you and I, we do a lot of work in our lives. You got your job, you got your kids and all, but we must never let down the work of the Lord. We must never remember Everything we do, we're supposed to do it as unto him. So everything we're doing is for him first. So be steadfast. In other words, keep going. Be immovable. Stay on track. Always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord, your labor is not in vain. Did you hear that? In the Lord. So as long as you're doing it with him, empowered by him, in his power, Everything you do is not going to be in vain. It's all going to serve a purpose. And so I want to encourage you, keep yourself in God. Keep yourself with him. Keep yourself in prayer. Keep yourself reading the Bible. And as you, as you keep asking him, trusting him, being strengthened by him, everything you do, remember, if it's not God-powered, it's a, it's a waste. But if it is God's power, none of it's in vain. It all matters. It's all going to be blessed. It's all going to serve wonderful, godly kingdom purposes. Really look forward to seeing you Sunday. You know what? The presence of God is so thick at one church. Bring somebody with you. Just invite them into the water. Invite them into the deep end with, with Jesus. 
and let them come in. Let God do work you're experiencing and imagine that somebody else can. Let's, let's fill that place up to the glory of God. Love you all. See you Sunday. God bless.